Hi everyone, I am Eva and today I will be speaking about something called the Happiness Index. So what is the Happiness Index? Every year the United Nations Sustainable Development Solutions publish an annual uh, report of the happiness of a nation based on the citizens current rating of their present conditions. So the first time this was coined by the king of Bhutan who said that they valued the uh, citizens happiness over the gross domestic product or any other quantitative measures. So this excited the economists who came up with the concept of the happiness index and measure the happiness of a nation wide across the globe. So around a million uh, respondents have been surveyed in order to calculate the happiness index of various countries. As per the latest 2019 uh, results, Finland has been ranked the happiest country followed by Denmark and Iceland. So what are the factors which influence the happiness of a country and how is this being calculated? So the happiness index is calculated by something called the happiness ladder where the individuals are given a scale from 0 to 10 and they have to mark their present living conditions and their satisfaction with it. Zero marks the worst possible living condition, whereas 10 marks the best possible living conditions. Another important factor which needs to be noted while calculating the respondents' uh, answers are that the respondents must be the citizens of a particular country, then they must be over the age of 15, and these respondents must be chosen randomly. So coming to the various factors which impact the happiness of a country is a prime factor is the GDP of the country. We see that the country which have a higher GDP or the countries which are wealthier obviously have a happy population. Maybe this is because if a, a rich country can afford the growth, development and all other uh, possibilities which leads to happiness and a lot of convenience also because of their availability of uh, money. So we could also conclude that maybe to a certain extent money does buy happiness. Then coming to another important factor is generosity. We see that countries who have generous individuals are the countries who are happier in nature and generosity does not only mean in terms of monetary value but also in terms of a kind deed which an individual shows towards a stranger. Uh, so we uh, time and again we see a lot of psychologists who have said that there's a very positive correlation between doing a generous deed and a happiness hormone in our brains. So we can conclude that being generous is highly correlated with being happy. Another important factor which influences the happiness of a country is the health. Health, be it mental health, physical health or spiritual health. Uh, in a lot of Scandinavian countries, we see that um, they focus a lot on physical health and people have a lot of physical activities. And hence, we see Scandinavian countries are also the countries which have a higher happiness ranking. Also, mental health is something which should be taken into consideration. Uh, obviously, if a person is going through a depression, uh, depressionary phase or any other forms of mental illness, he's being unproductive. And this is not only in terms of the individual, but also economically. A, a, an economy is not being able to prosper if it has unproductive or mentally ill individuals. Another important factor which can be considered is the people's interpersonal bonding with each other. Countries where the interpersonal bonding is very strong we see those are the countries who are also having a very high population of happy individuals. So coming to India and the Indian perspective, we see that India's ranking with respect to the happiness index is not very good. India ranks 140th as per the 2019 report. Uh, it should also be noted that India ranks far behind its immediate neighbours like Pakistan, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh. 
uh, the possible reason why this is happening is maybe because of the recessionary phase which India is going through, where there is a lot of unemployment in our economy and people have very low incomes. Obviously, we know that unemployment and low level of income leads to a very vicious poverty cycle. And it should also be noted that uh, as per the latest Global Hunger Index, India ranks 102 out of 118 nations, which is also a very poor score. So obviously, with such uh, scenarios, how can we expect the individuals to be happy? Another thing which can be noted about India is the interpersonal relationships. Uh, we can say that Indian interpersonal relationships is being deteriorated. For example, during the devastating flood which had engulfed Kerala, even though there were a lot of supports from other states, there were a lot of nasty religious-based comments which are being passed. Uh, then another important factor which can be seen is the generosity. As we have discussed, the generosity is a very important aspect which constitutes the happiness of a country but however we see that previously India India has been very generous towards its neighbors by giving refuge to Tibetans and Sri Lankan refugees however with the present Rohingya crisis India has been absolutely indifferent towards those refugees so we see that um, maybe these are the few reasons why India has not been able to perform very well with respect to happiness and the well-being of its citizens. I personally feel that happiness, it's very important to be happiness and happiness is a very personal choice. Happiness not only leads and helps us to build interpersonal relationships and lead a very happy and healthy life, but also helps us to achieve various goals. So we really have a very short life to live. Let's just surround ourselves with lots of kindness, love and abundant happiness. If